Hello everybody, in this tutorial video I will show you how to plot a velocity vector using method lib on a structural triangular grid. The function that we are gonna use is the quiver function from matplotlib. This function takes four basic inputs variables. The first two variables, x and y, are the location of the velocity vector. u and v are the velocity component in the x and y direction. In this tutorial, I also will show you how to customize the arrow or the vector such as changing the arrow length and shape. A side note here, in some numerical simulation software, the velocity is calculated in the center of the triangle and not in the grid point as shown in this image. In that case, we need to calculate the coordinates of the center of the triangle. And in order to calculate that, we can use the grid point to calculate the center using this equation here. I also put the formula in the Jupyter Notebook in case you don't have the center of the triangle. Alright, let us now move to Jupyter Notebook. Here I am at the Jupyter Notebook. I'm using the Jupyter Notebook from Google Collab and I already import the libraries and I set the uh, matplotlib figure of resolution into 100 dots per inch because by default the resolution of the image from matplotlib is quite low. Next here I will import the input data such as the x and y or the center of the triangle as well as u and v which is the velocity vector component in the horizontal and in the vertical direction. Now if you want you can preview the data one by one. Okay great, we are successfully import the input data. Next, I will plot the velocity vector using the quiver function. Here, I only use the default uh, function. Let's we see how it looks like. So, this is the uh, quiver plot or the plot of velocity vector using quiver function. And by default, the plot looks like this. Uh, because this is a quite large uh, area, so you might cannot see the uh, arrow Next, I will zoom around here and I will show you how to customize the arrow so we can see it clearly. But before that, I will add the unstructured triangular grid into this plot. Okay, here I will import the grid point and grid triangle. And then I create the triangle uh, object, which is combined the grid point and grid triangle. Um, I also have another video about the how to create the unstructured triangular grid. You can check that video. I put the link in the description. So in the plot here, I plot the grid first using the three plot function. And then I plot the uh, velocity factor using quiver. Sorry. All right, now I will zoom in into this area so you can see the velocity factor. Here is the same code as uh, before, but here I add a x limit, so I will zoom around here. Okay, let's rerun this code. All right, so after zoom in, you can see a small dot here. This is actually the velocity factor because the velocity around this area or around down here is quite small that's why we cannot see the velocity factor so the next step we can add a variable in the quiver function which is scale this scale will make a velocity factor longer okay let's rerun this code to see how it's coming all right so now you can see the velocity factor and the, the scale variable here is inverse of the length of the velocity factor. This means that if you put a small number here, the velocity factor will become longer. And if you put a larger number, it will become smaller. Let me show you now. I will change to like 10. You cannot see it, but if I put 0 0.01, We get very long, so I found the best is 0 0.01 for this uh, section or in this area. Okay, next we will customize this arrow so we, that will look much better. 
and to do that there are some uh, variable in the quiver that you could adjust such as the width head width head length and the head axis length so if you don't know what is width or head width you can always check the uh, metroblip documentation you will found this image under the quiver documentation so the width is the width of the arrow head width and then the head axis length and the head length and for the length itself i'm using scale okay so i found this uh, value for the width head width and head length as well as head axis length give me the best uh, save of an arrow so let's rerun this code all right so as you can see here we can see now a much better arrow that indicate the velocity factor comparing to this uh, default save so the next thing that i would like to do is modify the uh, axis ticks such as rotate the y ticks as well as reduce the number of uh, ticks in the x axis and the y axis so in order to do that i only need to add this uh, few line of code the first two here i will limit the number of y ticks and x ticks only showing three value and then in the line here i rotate the y ticks and then change the font size as well as the vertical alignment into the center okay, let's rerun this code all right so now the figure looks much better so the last thing that i would like to do is adding a legend a legend that represent uh, how how big is this uh, velocity or the arrow so let me show you here so this is this legend will indicate that this arrow is equal to 0 0.01 meter per second so how to add this one you need create a kind of a new data that represent the legend the first is the location so these two location mean that I will uh, plot this as an arrow using the quiver function here where the location is in this point so x 200,000 something and y 200 something and this means that there will be an arrow around here which is the value is this one so here I set the u equal to 0 0.01 and the v is equal to 1 this will make a straight arrow in the horizontal direction so why I know the size is or the value is meter per second because all this data is in meter per second if you have a data in like mile per hours you should put here as a mile per hours and then I put this uh, data using the quiver function so here I input the legend X legend Y which is the location and then legend U and legend V is the value and make sure that the other properties such as the scale width head width and up to head axis length is the same as the real data here if you don't put the same properties then it will show different size so by adding this line I add an arrow here that showing to the readers that this size of arrow is equal to 0 0.01 meter per second so you can they can uh, refer that this arrow may be larger than 0 0.01 per second so the current here is larger than 0 0.01 meter per second while here is less than 0 0.01 meter per second okay in the case if you don't have the center of the triangle you can use this line of code here where i calculate the center of the triangle using the grid point and the grid triangle file okay i put this uh, jupyter notebook file in the my github repository which is you can download it thank you for watching and see you in the other tutorial video